Welcome to the tutorial, Cloning and Duplicating Layers. So somewhere along the line, as you're creating your animation, you might get to a point where you need to create multiples of something, uh, such as an army of men, a school of fish, or a flock of birds. So there are two ways that you can go about doing this. You could either clone your drawing element, so in this case, that's the bird, or you could duplicate it. So rather than explaining to you what the difference is, I'll show you. So to clone a layer, you can click on it in the timeline and then right click on it and select the menu item, Clone Selected Layers. So now we have a, a copy of our original. You can also, with the layer selected, use the view menu here in the corner and go to Layer, Clone Selected Layers. And once again, we have another copy. So we have bird underscore one and bird underscore two. There's yet another way that you can clone a selected layer, and that's actually in the network view, where we refer to layers as modules. So you simply need to select the module in the network view and then go to the view menu at the top corner and go to module, clone selected module. So you can't see it yet in the camera view because it hasn't been connected to your composite. do like that. I'm actually just going to fan this out again. So we can see that properly again. Um, and I believe it should now appear in the timeline. So bird three is all the way down here. Let's bring it up with the rest of the group these in order. So we have bird, bird one, bird two, and bird three. Bird three is hiding behind the original as well. So say we make a formation like that. So the difference between a cloned and duplicated layer is this. With cloned layers, all of these drawings are linked to the same directory, which means that they're linked to the same drawing. You can give them different timings, you can keyframe them differently, um, they can move differently. However, if you change the drawing of one, all of the drawings will follow. And I'll give you an example. So say we select this color here, we select the paint bucket, and then we paint this, we paint this original bird. And then they all follow suit, which can be both a negative thing or a positive thing. It depends what your needs are uh, for your animation. However, just as a side note, um, I did mention that the timing columns are not linked for these birds, so you can you know, key them and whatever differently. Um, however, if I had already animated my original bird and then I created my clones, they would be linked to the same timing column, but you would just simply need to unlink them in the properties panel for that layer. So now that I've shown you what cloning was, I'll show you now what duplicating is. So I'm just going to delete these three layers and reselect my bird. And you can do it exactly the same way I showed you before. You can right click on it and select duplicate selected layers this time instead of clone selected layers. You can also use um, the view menu here in the corner and go to layers, duplicate selected layers. Or you could go to the network view choose your original bird go to the view menu in the top corner and go to modules duplicate selected module right and you also have to hook this one into your composite
So we have bird one, two, and three, like that. So duplicates, unlike clones, are completely separate, both in timing and in the directory where they house the drawing, so like the TVG, the Toon Boom Vector graphic. So it's like really just making a complete copy that's cut off from the original. So let me show you the exact same test that I did. So this time when I select the original, which is the center bird here, and I decide I want to recolor the wings, you'll see the other ones do not follow suit. This is the only one being colored in. So just to reiterate, you would use cloning when you need to make multiples of something, such as an army of men, where all the drawings are identical, but you can change the timing ever so slightly. Um, this would invariably make your file size smaller and your file less heavy because all of the timings for all the different men would be linked to the same drawing. So it's not graphics heavy, there are not multiple graphics. However, if you duplicate a layer, it is heavier because you're basically copying the graphics um, again in the same folder. However, you would use that in an instance where you might have many characters in your animation that are similar um, but have different colors. For example, if these were the four main characters of an animation, but one was red, one was blue, one was yellow, and one was green, you may as well create the same character and then just duplicate it and change the colors for them. Um, and that way at least part of that process became more mechanized so you didn't have to redraw something again and again. It makes it faster. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial cloning and duplicating layers. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Setting Up the Network for Animate Pro.